<laughs> and to end, a gem from all the presenters of Top Gear. That's Jeremy, Little Richard and James. Believe it or not, they were asked for their contribution to the big read. Nothing complicated. All they had to do was read a simple passage from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you three grown men cocking it up on the bonnet of a car. <laughs> All right, said Loon Qual. Can you just please tell us the question? The mighty USS Nimitz blazed <laughs> out of control in the middle of the North Atlantic. No, you're on the wrong page, mate. Look, oh, sorry, no, wrong book. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> All right, said Loon Qual. Can you just please tell us the question? The F-15 came out of the clouds on combat power, <laughs> unleashing a trail of death and lead in its worst. <laughs> I prefer his to this. <laughs> this is all right, but his is better. <laughs> all right, constable, she said, but be gentle. <laughs> <laughs> said Loon Qual. Can you please just tell us the question? <laughs> it's gone again, hasn't it? <laughs> All right, said Loon Qual. Can you please just tell us the question? The ultimate question? Yes. Of life, the universe and everything? Yes. Deep Thought pondered for a while. Tricky. That's... You've read the wrong word at your <laughs> It says moment. <laughs> said Loon Qual. Can you please just tell us the question? The ultimate question? Yes. Of life, the universe and everything? Yes. Deep Thought pondered for a moment. Tricky. He said. But can you do it? Cried Long Qual. Oh, I said that wrong. <laughs> three dipsticks we've got a photograph here which demonstrates the <laughs> scale of <laughs> is that real that is a real photograph this is a council that's obsessed about being sued and has done that we absolutely really do throw our weight for what it's worth yep. which isn't much behind the CPRE on that because that is sort of thing is preposterous no I'm not throwing my weight behind that why have you seen who's behind them who Bill Bryson so well, I think that man is a danger, frankly. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's beardy, sanctimonious, patronising Americans in tartan trousers coming to England and trying to persuade us to turn it into a museum. He wants the East End full of cheeky Cockney chaps pushing wheelbarrows full of eels, and he wants Northerners to be industrialists with big braces and blokes dying of the consumption. Good morning, Bill. I've got the consumption. It's traditional, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said, Bill, if you're watching, OK, you won't be watching, obviously, because we're not talking about steam engines or long boats or bear baiting, but if you happen to have tuned in by mistake, we're not interested in the views of stupid Americans who come over here with their big video cameras saying, gee, I love your history, it's just so old. Sod off. <laughs> Well, now we know. Honestly, I don't want to go home tonight. Not again. Bryson, then seemingly not as popular as he might have thought. <laughs> hey, now, back in the summer, some global warmingists uh, decided uh, that they wanted to prove you could have a wind-powered car, OK? So they made this. There uh, it is. Yeah, I read about this thing. They said they were inspired by Donald Campbell. Want to know what they called that? Bluebird. No. Greenbird. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah. Uh, no, it, it, you, you would you never would... tire of hitting them over the head with a chair, would no, you? No, never, never, never. Don't never. take Donald's name in vain again. I've you worn this chair out, get me another. Yellow, would, I... too <laughs> thick, organic, <laughs> big tea bag wearing. <laughs> Can I have another chair now? Exactly. I've worn it out on your head. But I, they also then say that uh, wind-powered cars are the future of motoring. They're just not! Look at it! It's got a hundred-foot mast on it. Where are you going to park it? Wind power is no more the future of motoring than magic power cars or <laughs> thought power. It just won't. It's not. It's a stupid idea. You can't, you can't depend on a wind-powered vehicle, can you, for the road? Now, what if you were hideously injured and you were waiting for the wind-powered ambulance? Yeah. Also, so, sorry we're late, Gov. We had to tack all up Main Street. <laughs> can I you just know, ask a question as well? What? How do you park a wind-powered car? 
in Moorhead. Doesn't well, after watching away. you in the Triumph Herald in Dover Harbour with great exactly. difficulty. Well, where did you park it? Look at the height of it. Anyway, listen, OK, to highlight global warming, they took it out to Australia to show, a t actually, to try and set a, a land speed record for wind-powered vehicles. Yeah, and? And the, uh, the attempt had to be called off because it was too cold and rainy. <laughs> Now, you know in America, if you want to buy a Nissan, but you want to spend a bit more money, well, a lot more money, actually, on it, you can buy something called an Infinity. Anybody who know what I'm on about? Yes, there's some nod. Good. Uh, well, now, OK, here it is. It's coming to Britain, OK? Now, I've um, got some details of it here, OK? And I want you two to tell me if you understand the first thing about what I'm... Oh, God. <laughs> Please get His eyes glasses. have gone as well. He's getting no, a haven't. monocle. Wait a minute. No, see if you can read this again. Understand this. See if you can read it. it well, yes, it's got an audiophile quality head and incorporating double oversampling 24 bit 96 kilohertz Burr Brown digital analog converters. No. Uh, Anyone here know what anything on that means? No? Okay, let me go on. It's got HVAC functions and a 9.3 gigabyte music box hard drive with compact flash drive slot. Not nice. What? It's a fridge magnet? It's a snow cone maker? I have no clue what any of this means. Has it got an engine? Now, it's funny you should say that. You have to go, I've torn it out, you have to go to page 9 before you get to the engine where it tells you it's a 3.7 litre V6. How much power? They don't know. How can they not know they built this it? This is from Nissan themselves, OK? 330 horsepower estimated. Talk estimated. They know about its gigabyte slot, but they don't know how much power it puts out. Is it actually a car at all? Yes, it's a car for people who say, I would have a Lexus, but there's too much prestige and tradition associated <laughs> with Lexus, so I want something a little bit more nouveau riche. They'll probably do a Pringle special edition, the parvenu. <laughs> I bet you any money they sell none. At all? Not one. Better not. Uh, do you know the new Lotus Europa? Not really, no. No. I've never seen one. I don't go. It's interesting that I, I filmed one for Top Gear last year. It's such a dreary car, we never put the film out. Or it might be that I made a dreary film about it, whatever. It, no, we never actually <laughs> put it on the television, OK? Well, now, Lotus has come up with a way of making it more appealing. So what they've done is up to the price from £33,000 to 150,000? 150,000. What? Wow. What, they filled it with diamonds? Yes, they have. No, seriously. No, they have filled it with diamonds. We've got a picture of the interior here, OK? You can see some of them glinting on the top of the gear lever. But that's basically what it is, 164 diamonds. Now, they didn't get them from De Beers, OK, or Hatton Garden, or Bond Street. They went to a company called Windsor Bishop. Have you heard of them? They bill themselves as East Anglia's leading diamond specialist. Leading? There's a lot of diamonds up there in the silt. <laughs> well, yes, that's crop rotation, isn't it? You plant things, you go carrots, curly kale, diamonds, yeah. fallow. <laughs> carrots, curly kale, diamonds, Is it me? Fallow. Yeah, almost certainly it is, yeah. No, because I quite like the idea of that. Oh, then yes, it is just you. Does anybody here like the idea of that? Diamond-studded loads. Yes, do you remember the Technomarine watch that was really plastic cheap watch? And then they put diamonds all around it. And I quite like that. Maybe I'm a wag. What? Do you like it? Do you like my jacket? Do you want it? I really... I'm, so I'm not joking. I really like the idea of that. I think I'm Abby Clancy. Why but if you think about it, if you pull in a petrol station and they say, oh, have you got your credit card? And then they say, oh, well, leave your watch. You don't know, prize one of the diamonds out of gear. No, I'm giving that. <laughs> It's ridiculous. It's not ridiculous, it's superb. It's <laughs> Colin Chapman said, car. simplify and add diamonds. No, That's he didn't he, he say did that. Say. Oh, didn't. no, he didn't. But yeah. anyway, look, we're going to move on now. Um, now, from California. This is already law in California, and it might well be coming here. Dogs are going to be obliged to wear seat belts in cars. Oh, I God know, so. look, here's a picture, here you go. <laughs> I'll tell you what's happening here. 
they've taken away all our fun. We can't do anything now, can we? We can't drive fast, do anything we want to do. So, they're picking on dogs. Because, <laughs> no, bear with me, you've got dogs, you know this. Dogs don't have much fun in their lives. It's not, in fact, there's only one fun thing you can do if you're a dog, and that's hang your head out the car window when it's got... And, and your ears... Like, <laughs> and, all this stuff. and then and another dog you make, oh, mate, goes the other way. That's, no, that is all, and they're stopping They're stopping, doing yeah. it. But yet, the extraordinary thing is, where's that report? Because I read that. This was my favourite bit in it, OK? It says that if you have an accident with a dog in the back and you're doing 30 miles an hour, your dog turns into a baby elephant. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> Uh, you, your dog. My, my, my border collie. Your boy, not, dog, the, yeah. not the boar mask no, the other one. My border yeah. collie was in a crash in a car and she's not an elephant. Baby does she not, does no. she not do this and get no, buns no. like no. and hose no. her own back down? No. Like that. She doesn't have a little monkey on her back with a fez on or anything. <laughs> no. I've done all the standard elephant tests and she is, as far as I can tell, still a border collie. Is that the end of the news?